All right, can everyone come in for a second? All right, so I recognize some of you from last week, but for those of you who've never met me, my name is Mr. Fontaine. Hey, Mr. Alfaro. And today we have an aerobic fitness activity for you planned. So before we get started, we're going to do a little bit of warm-up stretching, and then we're going to do some warm-up activities. Yeah, this is so, brief stretches. Yep. So if everyone could please spread our arms length apart, face us, face us. Big arm circles, girls. All right, everyone, if you could please follow me over here. So for our warm-up activity, we're going to do a little station relay. So we're going to split you all up into four groups, and we're going to have you, each one, each group is going to be at a station, each station has an activity. We're going to time you all for these activities, and then we're going to give you a short break, and then you're going to do... Sorry, before I start, there are two activities on each cone except for the jump rope one. That one you'll do twice, but if you want to follow me over here. Notice how this one says sit-ups and planks. So for about 30 seconds or so, you're going to do sit-ups, and then we're going to give you a 10-second break, and then you're going to switch it to planks for 10 seconds, and then, or for 30 seconds, and then we're going to rotate to the next station. We're going to go this way. If you're at the end, you come down to the first one. But yeah, so Mr. Alfaro, if you want to come over here. So show us how it steps. All right. Yeah. So just going to show you steps. So we're going to do that first. So it would be, if you're at this cone, it would be 30 seconds of sit-ups. Yeah, arms then, on my shoulders. My yeah. feet are on the ground. And then we're going to stop you. We're going to say 10-second rest for you all to get situated for the next activity on the cone. So he's going to do planks, 30 seconds. Then he's going to stop 30 seconds after that. And he's going to come over to the next cone. This one says line jumps and vertical jumps. So we're going to use this white line for this one. So just line jumps, just back to back. So you can go side to side or forward and back, whatever. Either one, as long as you're crossing the line. And vertical jumps is going to be the second one after that. So good. And the last one is push-ups and mountain climbers. For push-ups, if you have trouble doing them regular, so Mr. Alfaro can show us a regular one. If you have trouble doing them this way, you can go knee push-ups like this, if it helps. When you do push-ups, try and keep your arms closed. The further you go out, the harder I find it to be. So try and keep your arms underneath your shoulders and mountain climbers. All right, so now we're going to group you all up. How many do we have? I'm going to do. No, I mean, how many students? One, two, three. Yeah, we have 13. All right, so we'll do four. Yeah, four groups of three, one group of four. So I'll have you, what's your name? Connor. Connor, I'll have you on the first cone. Joel, I'll have you at this one. Adam. Uh, Adam. I'll have you at that cone. What's your name? Peyton. Peyton, I'll have you at the far cone. And Adam. Adam again, I'll have you at the first cone. What's your name? Allison. Allison, I'll have you at the second one. Kaylin. Kaylin, I'll have you at this one with Adam. Ashley. Ashley. Tanner. Tanner, first one. Carson. Carson, second one. Allie. Allie, I'll have you at the third one. Noel. Noel, I'll have you at the far one. Ranky. And Ranky, I'll have you at the first one. As long as you're around your cone, you can do your activity. You can be in front of the cone if you want. You don't have to be behind you. Okay. 
Yeah, we're all going at the same time. Is everyone ready? Is everyone ready? And begin. Remember, you don't have to do them fast. <laughs> keep going. Five, keep going. Five more seconds. <laughs> all right, so if you all are on jump ropes, you're going to wait 10 seconds and you're just going to go again. For you all, you're going to switch it to planks. <laughs> and start. You're right. Also, uh, make sure your jump ropes are long enough. I think yours are good, but I think you might need a longer one. Let's see. That one. I don't think, oh, I think that's the biggest ones we got. Sorry about that. All right. And stop. All right, so now we're going to rotate. Next station. Which way? All right, we're going to go that way. Joe. Yep. And begin. <laughs> Good, quick on your feet. What? <laughs> Say so you're quick for your feet. <laughs> Remember, you can do knee push-ups if it gets too hard. <laughs> also, I find them easier if you go closer with your arms. Not too far out, not that close, but just like right underneath your shoulders. And stop. All right, we're gonna go to the next one. Next activity, not next station. <laughs> Don't worry, just go as high as you can. Is everyone ready? And begin. Remember, yes, yeah, squat down. Jump high. It helps you jump higher if you get a little bend in your knees. Good. Yeah, five more seconds. Three, two, one, and stop. All right, next station. What are you doing with your fist? Arm problem? Yeah. Uh, I just broke it in January. Ooh. All right. All right, everyone ready? And you can begin. Hey. It helps if you go close to your arms. Because less stress on your shoulders. <laughs> Just one switch it for um. So if they're having trouble, you want to just have them like raise their legs instead and just do crunches. Yeah, if you want to let them know that. And stop. Right. 
All right, so everyone know what they're doing next? Yep. All right, three, two, one, and begin. Come on, really use those legs. Try and get the size you can. There you go. Next one. Oh, All right, and begin. <laughs> Man, it can be front to back, side to side, whatever one you're comfortable with. Or you can switch it up. Hi. Hey, is, um, what's your name again? Noel. Noel, it helps for me personally if you go closer and like have my arms just underneath my shoulders when I go down. Because I feel like when I go wider, it's just more stress on my shoulders. All right, three, two, one. All right, we'll probably go one more and then we'll go right into our next activity, all right? So one more rotation. Oh wait, no, never mind. sorry about that. The next um, activity on your cone. All right, so we're gonna start in three, two, one. <laughs> we're gonna squat down, reach high. So we're going to get a bend in those knees. Try and touch the ceiling. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, three, two, one. All right, so everyone come in. Does anyone need any water before we move on to the next activity? Anyone? Need a water break? Anyone? All right. So next activity we're gonna do uh, it's called I used to call it Four Corners Capture the Flag. So have you ever played that before? Probably not. All right. So it's very simple. What we do is we're gonna break you all into four teams. We'll probably choose different ones than we did for that last one. But basically, what it is you're assigned a team color and a hoop. So over here, just wanna follow me. So this one, this is the red hoop, so this will be for the red teams. Notice how there's colors in each hoop? All right, notice how there's not a red one. In order to win, there's three, color, there's three of your team's colors spread out on the hoops that are opposite to yours, or on teams that aren't yours. So red team, in order to win, the red team would need to get all three of their bags into their hoop, okay? Couple rules. One. When you go to another court, you can grab any bag you want, but in order to win, you need to grab all of yours in your team color or in your team hoop. Couple rules, if you go into another team court,